Welcome to my NHL historic rebuild between the 2014-15 Buffalo Sabres. The journey starts at the 2014 NHL Draft, where I'm going to be drafting Leon Dreistel, Christian Dvorak, Victor Arvidsson, and Gustav Forsen. These will be four important players for my team in the future, or our team in the future. Uh, Leon Dreistel will be the second-line center in the future and for many years. Christian Dvorak will be a top six for many years. Victor Arvidsson will be a top nine winger. And Gustav Forsling will hopefully be a top four defenseman. The first trade we are going to make in the historic rebuild is trading Drew Stafford and Andre Mazaros to the Vancouver Canucks for Jacob Mark Markstrom and Frank Corrado. Drew Stafford and Andre Mazzaro should get the chance to play for a contending team. Jonas Enroth would be a good backup goalie to Ryan Miller in Vancouver. At this time, Miller was still the clear-cut number one goalie in, in Vancouver. So it would make sense that Jacob Markstrom may get traded. Jacob Markstrom would get the chance to be the goalie for the future in Buffalo and with the Sabres. Danny Cancer would be a valuable top nine forward. Frank Dorado is a defenseman you can pluck in and out of the lineup in case of injury. The second move I make is Wade Anders Lindback. With Jacob Markstrom and Michael Neuver as the goalies in Buffalo, you don't need Anders Lindback anymore. In addition, you have Andre Makarov and Matt Hackett in the system. So you have four goalies right there. So Anders Lindback is not needed. The third trade I make actually did happen in real life with an additional clause. I'm going to be trading Nikita Sidorov, OTJ Comfort, and a second round pick in 2015 to the Colorado Avalanche for Ryan O'Reilly and Jamie McGinn. But I'm adding in Duncan Siemens. That's the addition. Nikita Zadorov would give the Colorado Avalanche a potential top pair defenseman. Mikhail Grigorenko and TJ Comfer will be important players for the Avalanche in the future. And Sebastian Ajo, who was used, uh, who was selected with the second round pick given to them by the Sabres, would be an important player for the Sabres, for the uh, Avalanche moving forward, sorry. Ryan O'Reilly will be a core piece for the Sabres moving forward. Duncan Stevens and Jamie McGinn will be nice role players on the team. The fourth trade I'm going to make is trade Ryan Gianta, Johan Larson, and, and Tyler Myers to New York Rangers for Carl Hagelin, JT Miller, and Kevin Klein. For depth on the blue line, so Tyler Myers would be a great addition. Brian Gianta and Johan Larson would give the New York Rangers depth up front. Carl Hagelin gives the Sabres speed up front. JT Miller would also be a great addition in the group of offensive players. Kevin Klein would be a good replacement for Tyler Myers. The fifth trade I make is trade Cody Hobson. Joel Armia and Mike Weber to the Calgary Flames for Joel Coburn and David Schlemko. Cody Hawkson and Joel Armia would add depth for the Calgary Flames. Mike Weber would be a nice depth defenseman for the Calgary Flames to have, which is basically what David Schlemko was at that point. Joel Coburn is a nice two-way defense or center, sorry. He has a good two-way center capable of playing wing as well. David Schlemko wasn't really playing a whole lot in Calgary anyways, so he needed a change in teams that will help his clause. The last trade I'm going to make is trade Josh Georges, Bill Veroni, and Tori Mitchell to the St. Louis Blues for Ian Cole, Ty Ratty, and a second round pick in 2015 which is going to be used to select Vince Dunn. 
Josh Georges would be a great addition to the St. Louis Blues. He'd be a great veteran presence for them. Bill Vermoni and Tori Mitchell would be nice depth players for the Blues as well. Ian Cole would be a solid top six defenseman. Ty Ratty is a work in progress, but hopefully he turns into a good top nine forward. Vince Dunn is a nice prospect to have, or a nice prospect to have, rather. And that brings us to the 2015 draft, where we are going to be selecting Jack Eichel, who will be our franchise player, and Vince Dunn, as I mentioned before, who was included in the trade with the St. Louis Blues. So, after all said and done, we would have added via trade Jacob Markstrom, Janet Hansen, Frank Carrado, Ryan O'Reilly, Duncan Siemens, Jimmy McGinn, Carl Hagman, JT Miller, Kevin Klein, Joe Coburn, David Schlenko, Ian Cole, and Ty Raddy. They would have added via draft Leon Dreisel, Christian Dvorak, Victor Arvidsson, Gustav Forslund, Jack Eichel, and Vince Dunn. They would have lost Anders Lindback, Drew Stafford, Jonas Enroth, Andre Mazaros, Brian Gianta, Johan Larson, Tyler Myers, Cody Hawkins, Joel Armia, Mike Weber, Josh Georges, Phil Veroni, and Tori Mitchell. The Buffalo Sabres in 2000. But I managed to put the Sabres in position where they can possibly contend in four to five years. Next, I will be rebuilding the 2011-2012 Montreal Canadiens. 